Hi, John Hunter here. Listen, on our traditional rails that use a high level connection, which is supplied by this cable that we include with every one of our, uh, our, our high level empowered subs, it's pretty simple. We're gonna make it simpler. So in the past, what we've suggested, nice click, that's now connected up, and this end goes to your power amplifier, right? Everybody who's been doing this for years knows, you go, yeah, okay, big deal. So we have two hots. Hot colors are hot, red is hot, yellow is hot. Red traditionally is used for right channel ground, red is right, and yellow goes to left channel, not ground, excuse me, hot, hot, hot. So what do we do with the all-important ground, and why is ground important? Ground is important because if you don't complete the circuit, it can hum. With certain kinds of amplifiers, like Class D amplifiers or balanced differential amplifiers, we float this. But I've got a better way to do this for everybody. Follow along. This is really simple. I'm not going to pull this off, but we come sort of pre-stripped a little bit here. We can pull it off. But instead of trying to connect this to the black terminal on the output of your amplifier, so you know the red and black terminals, huh? instead of going to that ever, do this. Strip this back a little bit, find a chassis, ground, or bolt anywhere on the back panel. If you see a random screw, just pull this back a little bit, tap it to it. If your hum goes like that, you found ground. Always go to chassis ground, and it gets away from all of the complexities of connecting high level. Every one of them. But I have a class TM. Great. Go to chassis ground. It works great. What about balanced differential and balanced differential amp? There are actually two hots and no ground. Go to chassis ground. It works brilliantly every time. So it just eliminates all the complexity of connecting up one of our high levels to your power amplifier. And if you just look for the screws on the back, the best example of all are the Marantz receivers. They use these beautiful copper, uh, some kind of a copper alloy on their screw head. So when you look back there, you see copper, 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 all the way around the perimeter of, of the rear panel. Every one of those is a grounding point. So just find whichever one is closest to the, the uh, chassis, the, 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 excuse me, the, the channel that you're connecting up to. Take it right to that, tap it, you'll hear the hum goes away instantly. Unscrew that, wrap this around a bit, tighten it back down, clip off the rest, you're done. Whole thing takes 30 seconds. That's the smartest way to actually obtain ground on a rel high level circuit.